Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Blue Archive. You didn't think I'd forget about this, did you? No, I would never forget about it. <laughs> it's been it's been a quite it's been a bit since uh, I last did a Blue Archive video. Problem was, I just never got <laughs> I just I just never got around to do getting to record some Blue Archive. But since I'm kind of in a uh, gaming limbo until uh, October 27th. It's a good time to do it. There's a, still there's still a couple events I still need to do. Uh, no new store has been released yet. It'll probably be released in the next couple of weeks or so. But uh, we we got we got a number of events we gotta do. So it's not these two events. Well, it's definitely not that one because I've already done it, and this is obviously one I had to do. I have to re redo. But uh, we're not doing those. What we're what we're doing now is the bunny chasers. That's next. Last thing we did was the ne last event we did was the playing tag at Neverland. So we still got the bunny chasers we gotta do. We got all of these we gotta do. Um, and then there's obviously this one, the most recent one. So. Got, we had a couple of new events since the last time. These two pretty much went hand in hand with each other, so really, it's two events and two event stories in one. Oh, you might. Oh, you probably can't see the cursor. Um, the, the the Valentines and the, the Wakamo Silence. Those two went hand in hand with each other, so it was pretty much two event stories in one. But uh, we'll do those later. Some of the point. Right now we're doing bunny chasers, so let's do it. Oh boy. CNC's new member. Infiltration successful. We're clear. No enemies spotted. Excellent. What's going on? Oh, it's Neru. Whoa, what was that? I expected way worse. It was significantly easier than I projected to sneak around a moving cruise ship. And a ship belonging to Blunt into another school on top of that. It slipped right in without anyone noticing. It's all perfectly good at going according to plan, isn't it? <sighs> you don't seriously mean that. The whole thing's a disaster. I hate every single thing about this. We're following orders from the seminar treasurer of all people and sneaking around like a bunch of robbers and the sherry and the cake. Mm. <laughs> I'm sensing some kind of hostility. Absolute worst thing about all this is having a babysitter. And why is it sensei? I wouldn't say he's a babysitter. Now, now, let's, that's not how we see sensei at all. Let's not get too upset about an unfortunate situation. How did I get roped up into this? It may not have been Sensei's intention, but it was definitely it definitely was seminars. Exactly! I'm seriously pissed off. What did I do to what did I do to deserve this? Didn't I say I could handle it myself? Why couldn't they just leave it to me and let me do, let me do my job? <laughs> hmm. Wow. I do believe you're not entirely faultless here. What happened? Two days ago. Oh boy. Hello, this is Akane of C and C. How is the reception on your end? Yes, all clear. I wish I wasn't having this conversation right now. <laughs> the sweet sound of a new commission. On the bright side, you come to us because you can trust us to get it done, right? We could talk about the bright sides after you have done cleaning up the mess I know you're gonna cause. Have you ever in the entire history of time ever handled things quietly like I asked? <laughs> Equipment destroyed, buildings on fire, and endless paperwork for me. Poor Yuka. Do you remember the last month? You exceeded your budget by almost six times. You're on, you're on my worst nightmare. Never again. I promised myself never again. So this time I have come with reinforcements. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Please greet your new supervisor of sorts. They'll simply confirm if the amount of damage incurred in this commission were a necessary cost. Think of it as a small procedural checkup, nothing more. 
Best of luck. Uh, <laughs> but, huh? Sensei? Oh boy. So that's how I got roped up into this. What are they even doing? Uh, I still can't believe this is happening. Yeah. I think I need to turn my voice down just a tad bit. Is that better? Uh, is that better? Or is it still too low? Alright, I just... I just my volume that was a little bit, so hopefully it's a little bit better. Hopefully, you know? It's too low, then I'm sorry. I... Ugh, I still can't believe this is happening. I didn't think those seminar jerks would stoop so low. And Yuka! Over budget this, infirmary is flooded that. Isn't dealing with that kind of stuff her job? I'm doing the same thing, just, doing, just getting my job done. The more I think about it, the matter I get. Oh, that's it, I'm growing in. Please, never. please let's evaluate and be reasonable. I think we'll be in a bit of trouble if we're, if we're reckless at another school. Well, I think it's worth the trouble. If I cause conflict between schools, so be it. If you're scared, then that's fine. I guess I'll just act, take care of everything myself. I don't think you should do that, Nero. Can't agree with you on this one. Huh? Say that again, Sensei. You're talking, they're, you're taking their side? Do you agree with that nagging treasurer too? Yep. What? Mm. I, are you serious? Seriously? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll say put. To be clear, I still don't like any of this. What are they even doing? Whoa. Akane, uh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I believe I am, Karen. I believe the semi-treasurer's questionable methods may have actually been rather effective. I mean, the president can't say no to Sensei. In fact, this may have been Yuka's ultimate goal from the beginning. All of you, shut up! I'm in a bad mood now, so not a word out of any of you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Anyway, Sensei, our goal today is to complete our mission quickly and guilt and quietly. What are you even doing? Regardless of why, well, you'll be with us from now on. So if you be, please, if you please board. Am I seeing correctly? Master? You're coming to play with us too? You're coming to play with us? Oops. Master's gonna be on our, be on our team! CNC's newest member. Huh? Hmm? Sensei, is CNC's new member? I guess that's one way to think of, one way to look at it. Oh dear, no complaints here. Sensei's one of us now. What an exciting turn of events. Doesn't that make you hate this a little less, President? Are you kidding? There's no wind that makes me feel even one tiny bit better. Are you sure? Sure makes me happy. I am absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, completely sure. I detect a small smile. I did not tell all you all to shut up. I'm not happy, okay? I hate all of it. Your, your happy expression is cute. I look forward to working with you today. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Fine. Guess I just, this isn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Sundere. Well, that's very low. That was very low volume. Being smart. What are we doing here? Two days ago at the briefing. Approximately 37 hours ago, first year Kurosaki Koyuki Kone White Rabbit escaped from the self-reflection room. She slipped out of range of seminar surveillance network before we realized the, situ the situation. Oh dear, her again? She simply won't allow us to forget her, will she? What is our resident criminal's indiscretion this time? Grade forgery? Deleting student records? Issuing unauthorized bonds. Well, that sounds very bad. Not only that, but she's issuing them in seminar's name. If my calculations are correct, which, well, they are, we'll be bankrupt in three days. Oh, jeez. How much is she fucking lending out? You must send the gravity situation we're in. Oh, dear. 
This is her greatest performance yet. White Rabbit? Um, my apologies. I don't believe you ever heard her name. Please allow me. I've, yeah, I've never even heard her, seen her before. She's not a student that I'm familiar with. There has been one, more than one arrest or operation for the girl known as Kurosaki Koyuki. Codename White, Ra White Rabbit. While once affiliated with Seminar, she's now its biggest headache and a known menace, and a known menace in Millennium. Does she cause trouble or does, she, does trouble follow her? She's chaos itself, an absolute loose cannon. She, she looks like it. Since they asked how she manages to get away with it, that's... She has a unique inclination for it. A gift, you could say. Her ability to compute mathematical calculations quickly and accurately is terrifying. To her are encryptions and security systems that Charles play. Basically, she uses her mathematical gifts to crack any passwords standing in her way. Changing passwords means nothing to her. She'll still dance through them like they don't exist. Isn't it rather impressive? She can hack our best security systems faster than the computer. We originally brought her to seminar because of her astounding abilities. Who would have thought she'd instead become such a thorn nurse in your side, as she likes to call herself? <laughs> She's more like a giant guillotine hanging over my head. If not for her seminar affiliations, we would, we would be rotting with the corrections bureau already. But with the amount of confidential information she's accrued, I can hardly send her away. Anyways, please follow the proce usual procedure. Of course, as usual, CNC is at your service. To be clear, I just don't have any other options. Our biggest issue here is, auto is automata and drones are and drones out of the question. I was rather confused about that particular detail. Why is that? While her computational skills are astounding, her combat abilities aren't quite up to par. A drone should make quick work of this, no? You see... The White Rabbit's fled somewhere. We can't exact this in automata to. She's gone beyond Millennium and D and DU entirely to a different school district. Different school district? She's fled to a school made of several ships called the Odyssey Maritime School. I've never even heard of that. Specifically, to a ship called the Gold, Golden Fleece. We keep cordial relations with Odyssey, so I did send a personal inquiry. From my information, the Golden Fleece is an old ship they've left half for, half for dead. She won't say what she's doing there or, or why she's escaped, or that she'll make money her own way. Oh dear. Looks like the problem child has boarded a problem vessel. What could she possibly be attempting to accomplish the issue fake bonds? A coup d'etat? That was my primary concern. If she's trying to graduate from petty crimes to an entire, to an entire revolt, and to fund it using bonds issued, and, to, and, and to fund it using bonds issued in Seminar's name. Uh, I think my headache is coming back. Anyway, so it may be neglected, but the Golden Fleece is still Odyssey's ship. We would be violating the rules if we tried to send a drone out to her. Ah, uh, and so... We're now in need of some agents. <laughs> I would like to empathize. We need secret agents. <laughs> That's the entire briefing. I expect CNC to act in accordance with the gravity of the situation. You can't mess this one up, okay? I won't be able to help this time if you do. No call signs, no uniforms. We're just normal civilians passing by. Normal civilians will not be caught up in this mission. Will. Not. Be. Caught. This isn't our school, so all your actions will be held, will hold weight. So caught. So quietly. Not being caught. Did I say quietly already? Be smart about it. Please. Jeez. Fine, I get it. I get the picture. Mmm, be smart. Then what should we do from here? Are we feeling you already have a plan? Always the perceptive one, Sensei. First things first, let's establish the base of operations. We'll find an empty cabin on the deck to secure a temporary base. Then we'll just tiptoe along the systems to the systems office, neutralize the surveillance systems, locate White Rabbit, and then... Hey, who's there? <laughs> hmm? Oh, we're already caught. Why are you in the engine room? Identify yourself immediately. Huh? Why don't you identify yourself? What the heck are you wearing? What the heck are you wearing anyway? What do you mean? 
They're the ones who wear an unsanctioned attire. Those aren't passengers, passenger school uniforms or guard outfits. Is that a maid outfit? Those were denied ages ago. I've identified you as a suspicious threat. I suggest you cooperate. Everyone this way, there's some weirdos. Jeez. Took her out right away. Ah! Well, no one can deny you, can deny you act quickly. And the seminar treasurer told us not to get caught so many times. Uh, I guess we filled that one already. Wait, this is... Um... Sassy, listen to me. It wasn't my fault. I think it was unavoidable. This should still be okay, right? Really? You think so? Uh, I mean, yes, I agree. Oh, boy. Oh, corn to plan. Uh, sure it was. Did you, hear anyone, did you hear anyone else? Did anyone else hear that? I'm sure there is a chores in the engine room. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, corn to plan. Time to run. But we're not fighting because the event's over. Do you think we lost them? Are we safe? Phew, I don't hear them. We're safe for now. At the very least, I believe our identities are still unknown. Sensei, are you hurt? Can I help you? Us. Well, my knees have been hurting lately. <laughs> That's an issue for another time. Moving on to more pressing matters. President, the guard. Huh? Oh, her. What's going? Huh? This is a cabin? Why am I in a cabin? You! Jeez. Beating her up, poor girl. Why would you bring the why would you bring the guard? I couldn't just leave her there, obviously. She knows our faces now. You won't hurt her or anything. Just leave her here in here until this is over. I have to agree with you for once. I do feel a bit sorry, but for the sake of the mission, let's restrain her while she's still unconscious. We should probably blindfold her too. She doesn't know our exact location right now. Stuff her mouth so she can't make a noise. Jeez. <laughs> Got speechless right now. This is a little... Um, that's a pretty ruthless when it comes to missions. I don't think I understand. There, are, these are the necessary precautions for any mission, and we're refraining from any lasting damage. I guess it makes sense if you're trying to sneak, you gotta restrain somebody. And if you weren't, he weren't here, sense that the president would have dropped her to the bottom of the ocean already. What? Akane? Anyways, I'm just grateful you made it this far. It's going pretty smoothly, all things considered. What's next on the agenda, Kane? Let's see. Now that we've established our base, it's off to the systems office for us for now. But before that, what's wrong? I believe this ship's clothing regulations are rather specific. Do you remember the guard's reactions? Stra this strange bunny outfit seems to be the guard uniform here. I think you're right. I remember the guard saying, those aren't passenger uniforms or guard outfits. The main outfit was supposed to help us blend in regardless of the environment. But we're not in Millennium anymore. The easiest way for us to move about will be to adapt to our, 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 our enemies. Those bunny outfits? Yes, ma'am. I grabbed one for each of us on the way here. Where the f- Wouldn't you have time to do that? I think you'll find the size fit quite well. You sure know how to act fast in crisis. Nice, Akane. Wait a second. Did you just take these off the guards we knocked out? And even more concerning, how do you know all of our measurements? There, there. Don't worry about your, your pretty little head about such trivial things. Should we get dressed and make sure they all fit? You've never worn something like this before, President. Let me have to put it on. What? Do you think I'm a little kid, huh? Oh dear, I apologize. Would you like to do it yourself? I don't know how. Now let me help you. Fine. Akane, uh, I would, uh, still like an answer to my question. <laughs> Do you remember what I said, Karen? Karen? 
Is it, is it, is it Karen or Karin? I don't fucking know. Karin. Let me go with Karin. That sounds better than Karen. Karin. Don't worry about such trivial things. <laughs> yes, understood. Great. Let's focus on the mission. Hey, what the hell is this? Are these even close? I can't even tell which way go which way it goes. <laughs> I'm on my way, Narrow. Once everyone has changed, we'll make our way to the systems office. Hmm? Are you okay, Sensei? Is something bothering you? Uh, where's Asuna? Huh? Ah, oh, I just in the confusion now. I forgot this is your first time. The best thing to do with Asuna is, just to, is to do nothing. She's unpredictable and, and incorrigible. Not like she'd listen to me, even if you did try. <laughs> She's what people call a free spirit. I'm allowed about two minutes of her attention during briefings before she takes off. But you know, Sensei, that's, there's actually a much more pressing concern right now. Hmm? Sensei, if you don't mind too much, we need to change. We need to change now. So could you look the other way, please? Unless you'd like to join in. Uh. I'm good. About 30 minutes later. Huh? God, I got beaten up. I don't stand a chance. Claire. There's the bunny outfits. Claire here too. Everything's going smooth as silk. the hell? This is all they've got? What do you mean? You've knocked out plenty of them. Our Nero's a little frustrated with no way to release it. Hmm. Why does this have to be such a breeze? They're all weaklings. What's most important is our mission is progressing smoothly. On the other hand, can we talk, we'll talk about your outfit? I already said it twice, Kar Karin. The jacket stays. No touchy. I won't take it off no matter what. Uh, what's the stupid mission anyway? Why do we have to sneak around to pick up some runaway kid? This is the absolute worst. Why not just let me loose? I'd get this done in five minutes flat. Well, we certainly cannot. Hang in there. self control is also skill narrow. <laughs> Sensei, again? Fine. Just kidding anyways, okay? Kidding. i yeah, sure you were. All you little numbskulls better be happy since it's here. Otherwise, you'd be swimming with the fishes already. I don't know if you've noticed, but they're they're unconscious. Contrary to Nehru, I'm grateful we were able to secure the area swiftly. We should move on. Akane, are you nearly are, are you nearly there? <laughs> Naturally, I'm almost done installing. That was fast, reliable as ever. Thank you, Sensei. A compliment from Sensei during a mission. What a delight. Nah, I'll make that little white rabbit brat regret ever being born. I do not. I do think that seminar's treasure, seminar treasure is planned regardless. Um, Sensei, what do you say? You think you think we're unusually lenient when it comes to the white rabbit? You might be right. I won't deny she can be a headache, but she's never been evil. We've done this so many times. She knows us by name now. It's always stop chasing me, Nehru, or don't hit me, Nehru. That little brat. She's the one running around causing trouble. She's at, the, at that stage, I guess. She acts out at those tensions because she doesn't know how the world works. Hmm? Oh, you meant the white rabbit, not yourself. <laughs> hey, say that again, you. Now, now, let's all hug and be friends. Oh, and I'm done. You took over the system so quickly. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Now then, everyone else, everyone else, everyone, please gather here. Due to the nature of my installation, it's a bit dangerous over there. This way now. What the hell did you do? I just have to press the button. Phew! We just need to wait 30 seconds and then it's job well done. Hmm? Akane? What do you mean, wait 30 seconds? Oh boy. Hmm? What was that sound? Akane? What did you just install now? Oh, just a little toy of mine I like to play with. 
snuck it on board with us just in case. It's just C. It's just C4. Oh, jeez. Why? I thought you're doing something to the computer. Ah, uh, just C4. Just C4? Akane. Akane. Please tell me you brought C4 here. Tell me why you brought C4 here. Hmm? What do you mean? To blow up the system's office, naturally. I guess I meant... Did you really... Did, they, did you really need to blow it up? Huh? Oh, dear. Have I made a mistake? You need to do something so the guards couldn't monitor us, right? Wasn't this sufficient? I understand that, Akane, but... Wasn't the plan to seize control of the surveillance system to find White Rabbit? Oh boy. Akane! How much time do we have left? Mm, well, how do I say this? Like, none. It hit zero just now. Oh boy. Rip the surveillance system. Was that an explosion? Was there an accident? I don't think so. I think that was a bomb. A bomb? A render attack? Run in front of the superiors immediately. Raise the alarms. Terrorist attack. We need to deploy Bunny too. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. God. Um. We finally lost them. Thankfully, our identities are still secret and the mission isn't compromised. And at least, one way or another, the CCTVs are all disabled. Akane? No, it's... I'm sorry, Sensei. All that talking, I'm the one who messed up. I thought you were just hacking the systems! In hindsight, I shouldn't have used a bomb in a stealth mission, obviously. What you should have done is hack the computers, hack the security cameras, Look to the surveillance system to figure out where she is and BAM! Mission accomplished! Not blow it up! But... It was by force of habit. And now I've alerted everyone on board to our presence. I'm a bit ashamed, honestly. Kane. Yeah! This is what I've been saying from the beginning! We're running around like some dumb high school girls we, we could have just mowed them like, like a lawn from the beginning. Never. You mean you're not a high school girl? I didn't realize you were still in middle school. Sensei, what the heck? Sensei? Are you not going to scold me, Sensei? I'm not here to be your parent. We haven't filled the mission yet. Hmm? What do you mean? You say you have a plan. Plan B? There's someone else we can ask. We return to the cabin and approach the bunny girl gar who was still tied up and unconscious. <laughs> mm hmm. Ow! What? What's going on? Huh. She woke up pretty quickly. I'm relieved. She's rather strong, so this will be a wonderful interrogation. Please don't scare her before we've even started. Don't listen to them. As long as you answer our questions, nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to me. You have already knocked me out, tied me up, and locked me in here. Who are you? What school are you from? Are you looking for money? Do you think you'll get away with this? Huh? Was that a threat? I'll beat you to a pulp. If it's money, I can't help you. I'm just a small fry. Well, we're we're well aware you're small fry. But don't worry, your pretty little head. We're simply looking for a friend. A friend? Well, what do you mean? Her name is White Kurosaki Koyuki. She, sh sh she should have arrived a few days ago. Do you know anything? Huh? I've never heard of her. Think you can play dumb? If you're lying, I've been itching to let out my frustration on someone. Wait, wait, stop! I promise you, I have no idea what you're talking about. I swear! Thousands of people come here every day to play with, play the raffle. I would never remember all their faces, let alone one name. That face is looking more and more punchable. Oh, jeez. Please, I'm not lying. Nero, no violence. Yeah. Consider yourself lucky. Like, seriously lucky. You really think I feel lucky here? 
She makes a fair point though. She's just a guard. Even and even if she <clears throat> was a higher up, she wouldn't have just she wouldn't just know a random passenger's name. Well, this is awkward. I want to start describing her. Is there anything about her that stands out? Ah, that's a good idea. Just what I expect of Sensei. A physical description could jog her memory. And White Rabbit does stand out a lot. Hey, you've got ears, right? I'm gonna describe her, so listen up. Any funny business, and I've got an itchy trigger finger, got it? I don't think a description would do her justice, but please take a look at this photo. This is what our friend looks like. She's a boisterous and she's boisterous and you can hear her voice from miles away. The type to draw all attention to herself. She was probably flippant and the rudest person you've ever met. Do you, anyone, do you remember anyone like that? Hmm. Flippant and rude. Ah! Ah. Uh -huh. <gasps> she said it! She said, ah! Ha ha ha! Got her! No, I don't know. I don't know nothing. Zilch, nada! Even if I did, I don't. can't divulge customer information. And she knows something for sure, for sure! Her reaction is a dead giveaway. Now, how should we coax it out of her? Hm. Please stop! No, no more! I'm against violence! Against it! I've been real cooped up and... I've been, re I've been real cooped up on this stupid stealth mission. I finally get some action. Don't talk too soon, okay? I it'd be real disappointing. I'd be real disappointed. And if only for one second, if you feel any kind of resentment, just know this wouldn't be happening if you had just talked. Sensei. Alright. Nero, let's think about throw our options first. Huh? Sensei, are you seriously right? Are you serious right now? Interrogating this numb school was your idea in the first place. And you don't get this at, and you don't get into this line of work without expecting stuff like this. Do you have a better idea? She's obviously not gonna talk. We're in a hurry. Let's just get this over with. Wait. Would you let me talk, take a shot at it? Huh? Huh? Do you have something in mind? Yes, I think my method may work. Trust me, no one will get hurt. And I think everyone will la leave laughing. Will leave laughing? Is that really possible here in the situation? Will you let me try, Sensei? Let's resolve this peacefully. Thank you, Sensei. In that case, what are we doing here? What's going on? What are you doing? You're gonna get away! I don't care what you do or say. I'll never give away a customer's information. What's she doing? What are you doing? Hey! Oh, she's doing the tickle thing. Really? Please. Oh, jeez. You can't stop it. Not there, please. Not yet. No! Not there! Well, it's one way to do it. Oh, dear. That certainly is effective. I'm impressed. I wouldn't have predicted this turn of events. <laughs> she's speechless. She's getting too loud. The car this goes on. Let me see. Oh, oh geez, you see the mouth shut. Now shall we continue? Um. Um. Karin? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hold on. Why are we covering her mouth if we're interrogating her? This may not be violent, but I'm beginning to wonder if it's if it's anything if it's any better. Hey. This is kinda dangerous. She's gonna pass out. You may be right. We should probably stop her. Karin! Karin? We should probably let her breathe. Karin? She's way into the zone. Let me try to stop her. Hey, Karn, stop it. She's going to pass out. Oh boy. Karn!
warrant. Hey! What what happened? Did you say something, Nero? Yeah, I called you. Like a lot. You know, you're not gonna get any information out of her if you cover her mouth. And she's gonna pass out. Oh. Um is she out cold. Uh oh. Good, you killed her. Uh she passed out. Well, thanks. Appreciate that. Sure. All clear here. Clear here too. Karin? Clear as well. No one's doing so so far. <laughs> I'm so sorry, this is all my fault. You've all made mistakes, Karin. Don't beat yourself up. And even if the guard passed out, you still got a clue out of it. I guess so. She kept mumbling play lounge while she was unconscious. Now that I think about it, maybe she was trying to tell me while I had her gagged. But what is a play lounge anyways? Did you see it on the guide map? It's what that big it's what that big central room is called. That's not what I meant. The sound of a play lounge seems a bit suspicious, is what she means. Honestly, I do not don't quite understand it either. What would one do in a play lounge? I wonder if it's related to White Rabbit's fake bonds. Do you know what a, what a play lounge is, Sensei? Judge by the name, is probably a place to play the fangs of a, Obviously. Never heard of it. This is quite the puzzle. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just go crazy. Play lounge, shmame it lounge. It doesn't matter what it is. Let's just barge in, beat everyone up. That's how CNC does, right? Mm, while I can't re necessarily agree, considering everything that's happened, she's not entirely wrong. But I have to empathize, President. Our goal is White Rabbit and only her. The plan is to infiltrate the play lounge, split up, and locate White Rabbit. Contact anyone, everyone wants you do, and subdue her without anyone noticing. We will enter the, the smoke bombs and flash grenades to minimize any damages. And above all, we do not want to fight or harm any of the guards. Are we still on about that? It might be hard, but I trust you, Nero. Since you Nero, I trust you can do it. Shut up! Flattery won't get you anywhere. Don't underestimate me. Who do you think I am? I'll bop her on the back of the head and we'll be on our way out on our way home. Let's just get going. Agreed. But please try to follow the plan. Alright. Stay behind me, Sensei. Then let's cause some chaos. Oh boy. Oh, fancy lounge. Hmm. Is this the play lounge or whatever? It just seems like a loud arcade. Welcome guests. Let me guess. This is your first visit with us. What? Pleased to meet you. I'm the lounge guide who will guide you through the play lounge. I'm in charge of explaining the rules here to visitors. I'm sure you're aware all the services in the Golden Fleece are distributed through a pays a raffle. A raffle? Oh. Hmm. You're unaware. All the accommodations on board the ship, be it the room or be it the room or or board, be it the room and board, recreational facilities, or even the restrooms, use raffle tickets to determine the quality. The restrooms? What? You need to pay raffle for like toilet paper or something? You can draw any grade from D to S. In general, if you draw an A, an A, you can enjoy the best of the best of the best aboard the ship. So S is. Very special, then? I'm glad you asked! That's right, drawing an S is beyond incredible! Here on the Golden Fleece, that's truly an extraordinary... What's that? Ugh, a C? Another bust! This always happens to me. Me too, I've been on this unlucky roll. The B I just drew is all I got. Look what gambling does to you. At least you got a B! With a C, they don't even add karage to the, your curry. Hey, 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 great visitor. What's it like up there? I bet it's the best. Well, of course, but it's nothing compared to S grade. From what I hear, the VIP pass that you get by exchanging an S grade ticket even lets you break ship rules. Break the rules? Really? C great visitor, you just drew a B. Congratulations, ta da! Best of luck to everyone else. Reach for the stars. What are they doing? Do you do you see everyone's faces on that huge monitor? What's that for? 
fact that congratulate them for joining something good. Place place where the quality of everything is determined by raffle. I guess that explains why everyone's totally immersed in their games. Is this really acceptable? How can any of these kids attend school and study? Huh? You're surprised I care? How dare! I know I'm late sometimes, but it's not on purpose. And I always make it in the end and... <clears throat> anyway, this seems like the kind of place that brat would be. It's crowded, busy, and too loud to hear, so think. For our number one troublemaker who's hiding from her upperclassmen and avoiding work, it's perfect. Hmm. All that might be true, but it, what it isn't is tight. What isn't is the type of place a, to plot a conspiracy. But the brat's here. Why? What's wrong all of a sudden? Founder, do you see the kid over there, Sensei? The brat in front of the machine. What a roll I'm on! I'm feeling lucky! Hmm, should I call it a day? Or I, I could ride this momentum all the way up. Yes, let's do it, Koyuki! You're a legend, of the, and the legendary ass is rich waiting for you! Oh boy. Eh? A bee? A useless stinking bee? There's no way it has to be rigged. I spent so much. I deserve that ass! I want that VIP badge. I won't take no for an answer. This is what gambling does to you. Don't stick to the same machine. If you're winning, uh, don't take your chances and lose it all. You there! If you hit the machine one more time, your drawing privileges will be suspended. <gasps> I'm sorry. I guess that's our white rabbit friend. Is it really that easy? Yep, in all her glory. That blissfully ignorant brat playing away is our white rabbit. Jeez, and here we thought she was playing a revolution with the bonds she stole. All she was doing was wasting them on these raffles? Are well, you telling me we've come all the way out here on this stupid mission for this stupid slacker? Consider ourselves lucky. She really does what she wants. <sighs> I guess it's better than seminar treasurer's conspiracy worries. Although, that would have been more in, in my lane. Testing, testing. This is Nero. I've located a white rabbit and send the location. So meet me there. Understood. On my way. Got it. Where the fuck is Asuna? We haven't seen her since the beginning. This is almost too easy. Sneaking up on her will be a ch child's toy while she's distracted with the, raffle, with the raffle machine. Well, I guess that's a wrap. Good work, Sensei. You actually did help, I guess. Let's just hide out of sight for now. Oh god, there she is. Wow, Asuna, you got an A rank at just 10 draws! Congratulations, ride this momentum until you win the, an S grade VIP pass! It's a good thing none of us are stupidly. Sh it's a good thing none of us stupidly showed our face on the display board like that. Huh? Asuna's face is on the display board, isn't it? What? Why in the world is Asuna up there? What? What? Is that Asuna? Oh my god, why is Asuna here? Hmm? Huh? Well... Nice to meet you. <laughs> ah! Guards, guards, intruders, intruders! Intruders? Where? Here, over here! Look at these girls that are- Look, these girls are fake guards! That one over there too! They're all fakes! Everyone assemble! Apprehend the intruders! Oh fuck. Sensei. Don't be mad, okay? I really don't have a choice here. Only she asked. Ah, the stings. I'm all scraped up. Are you okay, Sensei? Are you hurt? I'm. You're the one on the front lines. Phew. I'm relieved. I would have had to bash more heads in if you got hurt. Anyway, I swear there were more. There were like there were like a hundred guards in there. 
I would have, <clears throat> I would have took them all down if we're not for those stupid, these stupid shoes. <laughs> Told you guys playing it smart wouldn't work. I'm sorry though, Sensei. Not even you. Not even you're captured. Now well, things considered, you're pretty calm, Nero. If you say so. Well, honestly, this is par for the course, I guess. You learn to expect these cut these things in our line of work, and it's not like we can can salvage this either. I'm irked at how annoying it's going to get from here on out, though. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Nero, I'm here. <sighs> this is what I mean by annoying. <laughs> you really got me there. Asuna's cute little face popped up on the display board, and then yours right behind me. But tough luck to you, visitors are completely protected here. Basically, all these wonderful guards here are each my very own personal guards. Even you can't win, Nero. Not unless you face down every single person here and cause trouble at a different school. Hmm. Or, you could try your hand at getting a VIP pass by drawing S grade from the raffle. You get extra, you get, you get extra judicial powers and immunities, so that worked for you. <laughs> Not like that happened. Ha! I didn't see Nero spending her precious money for an S grade. Even after using all those bonds, I still haven't seen an S grade. So good luck with that. This time, I, Kurosaki Koyuki, will be truly freed from the evils of Millennium. My beautiful, wonder, wonderful self will take over the ship and live the life of royalty I deserve. Well, aren't you full of energy? Well, I'd mind your manners. Can't you see that there's an adult present? Hmm? An adult? <gasps> wow, I've never seen you before. It's nice to meet you. I'm Kurosaki Koyuki. But my beloved upperclassman like to call me my codenaming White Rabbit. Well, the target knows her own co the target knows her own code name. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo. Lord. Anyway, what's an adult like you doing here? Are you Nero's guardian? What? As much as I'd love that, unfortunately, no. Shut up! Why are you saying weird things? Don't entertain the brat, Sensei. Huh? Sensei? Oh, wow, you're a Sensei? I've never seen one of you before. What does a Sensei even do? Babysit Nehru? Such a trap, brat! None of your business! Your upperclassmen were worried. What are you doing here? Me? Nothing bad, I promise! What? I guess I did take a bond or two for the, for the raffle once when I, I ran out of money. I'd say more than one or two. Have you been tracking your spending at all? Do you realize how much you've been you spent? Keeping track? Should I have been? <laughs> I just spent whatever I needed, so you'll need to ask for an invoice to know how much. Just how much did you play? Were you just going to waste your life away gambling? Hm, it's not like I was logging my hours. And I was gonna win soon, thank you very much. That's what they all say. And what will you do once you spend all the Millennium's money? Other schools have money too. And you don't see anything wrong with that. At all? Wrong? The money's there. Why can't I spend it? It's good for the economy for money to circulate. I'm being helpful, right? Do you understand now, Sensei? There's no gain through to her. I could say the same. I could say the same, Nero. Hm, always the temperamental and violent. I might be behind these bars, but you better watch your tongue. The others will come around, come and spring me out of here soon enough. As soon as they say dude, my fist is going straight. I thought we'd find you here. Oh dear, it appears we've all been reunited. Yeah, you guys! <laughs> I told you so. I knew you get you guys could break us out. What are you standing around for? Get in there already! <laughs> We've been captured as well. This is the absolute and complete worst. <laughs> my wildest dreams have come true! Not only has the high and mighty CNC been captured, but it was all my doing. 
I'm a true bona fide genius. I should have ran away from the beginning. Gang's all here. Are we just missing Asuna now? Oh. Wait, where's Asuna? I guess we still haven't caught her. Damn, you guys missed out. Holy fuck. <laughs> so, there was some serious shit that happened outside that, ha that took place over the last... Uh, how long? How long was this? Probably about an hour. Uh, hang on. Yeah, about an hour ago. Some serious shit was going on. I, I like an hour and a half ago. Fuck! This is this took place over an hour and a half. <laughs> Multiple police were outside our door or outside our house. Guns drawn, looking down the road. It's fucking crazy shit. Eventually, long rifles eventually came in, and a bunch of other heavy things. It wasn't SWAT, but damn, dude. It took somebody away. I don't know what. But we think it was, continu it was a continuation from last night. One of our neighbors got into a pretty big argument with uh, one of their tenants. And uh, we think this is, might be the fallout from that. But shit, dude, it was crazy. We got all on a ring camera too. It was fucking nuts. <laughs> most, by the most action, our local, our local cops have seen in a while. It's crazy, man. Super crazy. <coughs> I guess you still haven't caught a cotter. No matter, the guards here are thorough and way too many for one person to deal with. Yeah, <laughs> it's only a matter of time before the whole family is reunited again. God, Jesus, this little devil. We'll, we'll sail far, far away, drop you off on a deserted island, then it's bye bye, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. There's a door, there, there's a door now. Couldn't have tied it better myself. And you know, I'm the best. Yeah, <laughs> it was nice knowing you see and see by my march since it's time for you to go. Come on in, Asuna. Oh, Koyuki. Hi, hi. <laughs> Did you miss me, Asuna? And hello, all you bunny girl guards. Uh-oh. We've been warming up a spot for you, so in you go. No complaints. My dear, responsible upper class and would never cause trouble at another school, would she? You there. Hmm? Who, me? What? No. Not you. People walked in the brig. You're free to go. Huh? What'd she just say? Oh. Released? Why? As one of our VIP members, uh, Miss Asuna holds extrajudicial power aboard the shit. She's a what? Who now? Uh, per Miss Asuna's instructions, all her companions are to be released immediately. All property damage incurred during fighting will not be brought before a court of law as long as they are repaid. Well then, excuse us. Please enjoy the rest of your stay, Miss Asuna. Isn't that crazy? Those weirdos wouldn't stop chasing me, but then I drew it from the raffle because it looked like fun. I don't know why, but then they just stopped and said I could do whatever I wanted. So, here I am. Nero, they said we can do whatever we want as long as we pay for the damages. That shouldn't be too hard, right? You drew an S? Hmm. <laughs> I see. I understand the situation completely. As long as we pay for it, no matter what I do, no matter how much chaos I cause, I won't, it won't cause any issues for Millennium, right? <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. That's the best news I've heard all day. Hey there, our adorable white rabbit. How fast can you run? Well, why don't you start running as fast as your little bunny legs can take you? It's my turn now. Oh boy. Revenge. I think we're doing this one right before I got pulled away from cop madness. 
Man, what the hell? She drew an ass in just 20 tries? This is unfair. It has to be rigged. I spent so much money and I got nothing. How is this possible? Have you finally come to your senses? The world of gotcha is ruthless, little girl. <laughs> I'm coming for you, brat. Oh boy. Excellent. Yes, give me more. Let me enjoy making you cry. Oh, then I'll hand you over to the seminar treasure. The last half is mine. Mine! Run, little bunny, run. Can you run while you're crying? Jesus Christ. If I catch you too easy, I'll punish you for that too. Help! Oh boy. Jeez. <laughs> is this okay, Sensei? I'm not here to monitor you, it's fine. Nero's been holding back, so we can let her have this. Hmm, that's true. Do. Do you really think so? Probably not. Is she human? Is she real? She's like a bloodhound. Not even flashing my bonds and hiring people to block her as I as I as I ran to help. As I ran helped. She bowled bowled them, bowled them down like they didn't exist. And how do they blow up all the ex all, all the exits? Some traps. I finally got away from Millennia and I'm still suffering. Hey, little rabbit. Do you think you can hide? Oh jeez. But I'm almost free. Did you think I've been running without a plan? All I have to do is get to the top deck. As long as I can get up there. And then I'll be. What are you gonna do? Jump off? Well, this is a nice deck. Finally! Finally! I did it! I made it to the top deck! I win! That little rabbit got caught. I was wondering where you got off to. You must be real tired of running. Good job, brat. Thanks to you, I'm feeling all refreshed. <laughs> You've had our, we've had our fun, so let's wrap this up. Yoo-hoo, don't forget about us, Koyuki. There's nothing, there's no more running. Give up, white rabbit. What fun this was. So, you think you cornered me? But tough luck, CNC, you've done well, but now's my time to shine. You should have told, took me back while you had the chance. Blair, I tell you, Blair. Jeez. Did she finally lose it. It's entirely possible. Yes, it is. You went too hard on her, Nero. Hey, don't underestimate me. Just in case something like this happened, I spent a lot of money to prepare my personal escape drone. Personal escape drone. Hmm. The preparations are already complete. Yeah, <laughs> you fools! This is the open sea. You can't chase me over water. Now just suck your thumbs and watch me fly away. Well, I'm a busy little rabbit, so I'm off. Oh, there she goes. Karin. Oh. the sky <laughs> guys guys save me the water i can't swim oh boy we should help her right well she did say herself this is the open sea i don't know what she was expecting it was an easy shot nah. we really treated her as a threat this entire mission it's hurting my self-respect a little. <laughs> that is how we execute the plan, the, the ideal plan. So, does anyone have any questions? Uh-oh. Then what, may I ask, ended up causing the utter chaos, causing the utter chaos in there? Ah, uh, yes, there's nothing for you to worry about. As I said, we've taken steps to ensure there will be no trouble between schools. There are some small expenses that need to be taken care of, though. Well, 
As you are aware, that part is to be resolved by the client as per the contract details. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> it's just gonna explode. Calm down, Yuka. Deep breaths. Being smart was too much for us. I, I understand. I trust in you, Sensei. What shit they did there? <laughs> Best. What did we do? What did we do with White Rabbit? Hmm, I suppose we, it's okay to tell you, Sensei. White Rabbit has been returned to the confinement, where she'll remain for the foreseeable future. Ah, uh, she definitely won't be able to escape again. Did you say that? She's confined in a glass room ten meters across with no electronic devices of any kind at all. All security surrounding her is paperwork and manpower, with no mobile phones allowed on the premises. It's a bit old-fashioned, but necessary for keeping her confined. Come to think of it, I believe it's nearly her meal time. See that look in your eye, but please don't waste your pity. This is a rather lenient. This is a rather lenient considering the damage she's done to Millennium. It's unfortunate that you've had to see this side of me again. I hope next time we meet in more present. Next time we can meet in more pleasant circumstances. Well, that concludes our business. If you'll excuse me. Oh dear. Let's simply let Seminar do what they do best and clean this all. Clean all this up. Perhaps turn off all communications as well. <laughs> well, shit. There may be a few petty issues, but overall we can call this mission a success. Well, naturally. And thank you, Sensei, for keeping the president in check on top of everything else. Kept two in check! I don't want to hear your nonsense. <laughs> truly enough, truly though, thank you, Sensei. While it was a mission, it was a mission, it's the most fun I've had in quite some time. I don't know if you feel similarly, but I'll remember this fondly. Eh, uh, call me again anytime. Oh dear! <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Anyway, let's finally relax a little and change to sit back into our... Maid outfits? Come to think of it, who packed our maid outfits? Uh-oh. Packed our- packed what now? I definitely didn't. Now that you mention it. What's wrong? It appears none of us packed them. Ah, are you seriously saying we have to go back there? Oh, yay, we're going back. I had lots of fun. <laughs> it's okay, Nero. This time it will be different. Austin has her VIP membership, so we won't need to infiltrate anything. As long as we have her membership, we can come and go as we please. Huh? VIP membership? Oh, that old thing. Was I supposed to keep it? <laughs> Did you, by some crazy, impossible chance, throw it away? Yeah, you, that, some people drain their entire life savings for that membership, but you, you should have expected as much for, of our asana. Well, I suppose that means we're essentially back to square one. Our maid outfits are in a locker aboard the Golden Fleece, and we, all, we lost our way, only means to simply walk in and claim them. But we need the uniforms for our missions. Correct. So why can't you just get new ones? So that means... Ooh, is it time for round two? I hate infiltrations! This is the worst! <laughs> Poor Nero. She's tried her best. She can't escape. Oh man, that was that was, that was pretty funny. Actually, like I, I actually really liked that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this part. Uh, when we come back, uh, we will do next story, next event story, which will be. Uh, I'll probably do the Hatsune the Hatsune Miku live stuff, which is essentially. This takes place afterwards, so essentially what this is, is the, um, relationship stories with Hatsune Miku. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably do that next, get it, knock it out of the way. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next part. Later. <laughs>